Got it. Investigate cellar. Case the Astral Lounge. On it. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. I James Newell is do the not need to know what you're going cellar. through. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. James Newell! And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not leaving me to the Sharks. You're just going to go and spend some quality time with one. Hey. I get the feeling she wouldn't mind me calling her that. I missed you. I missed you too. You're still oh so god, tense. can we close the door? Can we close the door? We can close the door. My instinct is to gather the intel regarding the cellar before we check out the Astral Lounge. I'm thinking the information might give us some much needed context when we case the joint. Unfortunately, they didn't mention where we might find that Mr. Newell who has the information. Looks like my watch thinks it might be in this direction. But I'm pretty sure I heard someone mention the name James Newell. Okay. Yeah, over here, someone was talking about James Newell, and it just sort of grabbed my attention for some reason. In this place, probably. Okay. Well, that was interesting, but I was really hoping you might be able to give me directions to uh, a Mr. Newell. Yeah, unfortunately, I... Ebside. I have no idea where I... Okay, my scanner's sort of telling me maybe I should check in this direction, which is probably a good idea. There's the Voli Hotel. That We came in over there. Stroud Eklund. Seacart's Outfitters. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. Can you get me someone called Mr. James Newell? Uh, oh, okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Every Let's get... smuggler I have ever worked with had a perverse affection for this place. I do not understand it. Andreja, how many smugglers have you... You know, that we... actually sounds like a good idea. Great. I'll bring the blend, you bring the chunks. Okay, this is probably not where I'm going to find who I'm looking for, but... Hi! Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters! Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Okay, that's quite a bold claim. It really is! I'll have... I'll take every artifact you have in stock. An artifact? Are you making this up? Well, like I said, if I don't have it, you don't need it. But I have a lot of other things you need. Well, I'm sorry, I need... I've perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time. Look around. Ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. You're starting to sound like a used spaceship salesman. It's quite impressive. Pretty hard sell you're pushing. Okay, no, look, it's a very, a very nice shop. I want information from him. It's a very nice shop you've got here. Thank you for noticing. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. This is that. a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Okay, sounds like someone didn't do 
proper financial plan. You have a nice shop here, you should be making a fortune. Are you always this open with people who just wander through the door? Oh, yes, absolutely. It can be off-putting, I know. Yeah. I picked up the habit from my mother. She was an extraordinary woman. Made friends instantly wherever she traveled. Wise as well. If she was still alive, she would have told me to move my shop and cease paying these exorbitant fees. Okay. But why aren't... You've got a nice shop. Why aren't you making a fortune? You'd think that, right? Unfortunately, I'm barely scraping by. Okay. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. Actually, I was... So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? Okay, maybe your store would be more successful outside of Neon. Have you thought maybe it's the place? How long have you been in business here? I've been at this location for the last eight years, but I've had a business in Neon for almost 20. As soon as Ryujin broke ground on the tower, I knew the city would start swarming with people, so I went all in. I love this business. It's my life. I can't imagine doing anything else. Probably don't want to move then, but have you thought about moving somewhere outside of Neon? My dear mother would have said the same thing. The fees here are quite expensive, and Maybe. I'm barely making ends meet. But I've always been quite stubborn. It has okay. not always been easy, but I've been at this location for eight years, and I won't give up. My business is my pride and joy. You won't find another store like mine on Neon. So please, support my business with your patronage. You won't be disappointed. Okay. I mean, like, I admire the the, the go-getting attitude and this desire to stick with it, but you might have also been wise to listen to your mom. But you, let's have if a look. you don't see it, you don't need sale. it. Okay, let's... You've got a cutter. I'm... Advanced Navigators. That's a strange thing. I think that's better than mine in, in some ways. It's just I'm not spending money on a spacesuit. Do you have anything remotely interesting? Because I'm feeling guilted. Astral Lounge Uniform. Okay. Blue Neon Neo City Formwear. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of feeling like I'd like to support him a little bit. Ship parts! How many ship parts have we got? I can't remember if we've got a lot of ship parts. I tell you what, should we buy one ship part? That expensive, though. I've got seven. I've got... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna buy some ship parts. Because we always need ship parts. I will... Then we got ten, right? It costs a lot of money. I don't suppose I can sell him anything. I mean, that might be not quite in the spirit of what he was thinking, but... Alright, no. Do we have anything I would want to sell? No, that's rare. Okay, no, there you go. I've, I've spent... I've spent some money here. I hope you're very happy. I really was just coming in because I'm horribly nosy. And hoping to get some information. Alright, that did not help us find a Mr. James Newell. Okay. Reliant Medical. Spaceport. That is where we came in. The Mining League. Okay. Trade Authority. Freestar Rain. Question that region has some influence here in New York. I wonder how Mr. Bain feels about that. Website. What have we got here? Neon Tactic. Ooh, is that a weapon shop? That sounds like a weapon shop. Yeah, you got a point. I would have screwed it up either way. Hi. Crime in this city gets worse by the day. Vandals, thieves, gangs. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. What don't you understand, Sticks? Crime happens because the people in charge let it happen. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Yeah, you're sorry. You're always goddamn sorry. Try actually doing something about it for once. Need a weapon? Maybe some ammo? You... Need... I don't know. 
a dog or something, because I don't think the robot is getting you. If you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. Ah, uh, that's an awful way to treat a potential customer. Yeah, it really is pretty bad. I mean, I've walked in. I've obviously got some interest in weaponry, either that or strange robots. This is not a good sales technique. My store, my rules. If you don't okay. like it, talk to Styx. He runs our, um, complaints department. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, um, who's Styx? Oh, the robot. Uh, Sticks. See that giant Model A right over there? Yeah, that sticks. And if I were you, I wouldn't get on his bad side. He has a very short temper. He's a robot. Anyway, um, you won't have any complaints from me. I mean, look, all right, I get it. It's your shop, your rules, captain of this ship, so to speak. Fine, let's see nice what you've got. Like it. Just... <sighs> You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. Oh. Okay. Do you actually care about the robot? Do people... I could... You, you know what? I might be able to... Find the person who defaced sticks, if you like, you know, just if if I hear rumors as such. You do that. Huh. Okay. Well, maybe I misjudged you. You still haven't shown me what you got for sale. I could pay for the paint removal if you want. I'm I'm only doing it to get paid. Why would why would someone spray your robot with graffiti? Look, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that I'm not the most popular guy on the block. And that suits me. No. Fine. But this person took it too far, made it personal. I'm not about to let some delinquent hassle the only friend that I have. All right, okay, I am not gonna... I could pay for the paint removal if you want. It's not about that, is it? You want, you want the person who did it to stop bloody well doing it. All right, fine. Yes, I can't allow an assault like that to go unpunished. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I'm glad you see sticks is more than just a possession. The lowlife that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> you can probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Warlord. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the Ebside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the sticks. Ebside. Ebside. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want me to kill this guy? That might be a little bit too far for graffiti. Why is this warlord targeting you? Warlord's one of the disciples. One of Neon's street gangs that claims it owns Ebside. A few years back, the gang tried to break in here and rob my place, but Styx put one of them down and sent another to Reliant on a stretcher. He and his oh. buddies have been harassing me ever since. Mostly by scaring away my customers and stealing my deliveries. Warlord still swears he'll get even with me. And he came pretty damn close when he somehow managed to disable Styx and sprayed him with paint. It feels like it's only a matter of time before he gets past Styx and I'm done for. Okay, that does put it in a different light, I guess. All right, how did you and Sticks end up together? I knew a guy a few years ago who ran up a hell of a tab with me. Now, I'm talking thousands of credits, but at least he'd make regular payments. One day, the payment stopped, so I tracked him down. Found out he got mixed up with an Aurora dealer and uh, fell from the upper platform. Since I had a legit claim, the city awarded me his property, which amounted to the contents of a storage container. Guess what I found inside. Took me a few months to scrounge up the parts, but I'd say I did a pretty decent job getting sticks up and running. Okay, no, fair enough. I know it's none of my business. Or what? All right. You... Why do people give you a hard time about having sticks around? I know you'll be surprised, but thanks to my sparkling personality, I don't exactly have the easiest time making friends. That means I spend a lot of time talking to sticks and Model A robots. 
They're not really programmed for casual conversation. The net yeah. result is I end up talking to a machine and looking like I'm out of my mind. <laughs> Hell, maybe I am. Okay, so you're aware of that. All right, I didn't want to broach the subject. You know what? I'm not going to keep prying. Uh, let me just see what you got for sale. I've got more than you can handle. That is almost certainly not the case, but let's have a look. Um, do you have anything special? The buzz cut. Okay, how do I... Let's... That's a Grendel, but that's a Grendel that... Okay, has a paint job. I, I like that. Let's have a look at it. It's uh, plus 25% increase to attack speed. All right, it's not bad at all. And what's... The, it's only 4,000. God, it's terrible damage, though. Boom, boom. Okay. That has better damage. Explosive. Randomly switches to explosive rounds. I'm not against explosive rounds. I'm not too keen on the randomly aspect of it. Boo. I love the name, though. Laser sight, large magazine, high velocity. I mean, 16,000. No, I'm saving. I'm... That's a rivet gun, isn't it? Okay. I'm, I'm saving up. I am saving up. I'm sorry. I'm not in the market for a new weapon at the moment. You ever get nightmare sticks about the war? I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. I get what you're saying. You just want to forget, but one's got nothing to do with it. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. No one understands you, stupid piece Madame of Sauvage always gives Oh, me I see advice. you hiding out here. Too bad okay, there's a chance he's completely nuts, right? But he's aware that he's sort of nuts, and I kind of like him, and honestly, I feel a bit sorry for him. And the robot, which is strange. If we ever end up finding a place called Euphorica, we've got to keep our eyes open for someone called Warlock, and we have to have a chat with them. Yeah, that didn't really help us at all, did it? No, it didn't. We are still looking look like a completely different person. Good for, you, for somebody called James Newell. I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and say I may have... You know, the people of this galaxy need to get better sales. Bitch. What planet they were on. Hello? Don't kid yourself, Rosa. Aurora isn't fun. It's a poison, and it needs to be taken off the streets. James, please, it's not just the Aurora. It's Administrator Bayou. As long as he's in charge, the city will just get worse and worse. Fully stocked and ready to sell. Oh, okay, okay, that's that's good. Hi. Mr. James Newell, I presume. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. R <sighs> okay, sounds like you have a problem with Sieghart's. I'm detecting a bit of competition going on here. Healthy competition is one of the cornerstones of owning a business. Now, I'm detecting a bit of competition going on. Sieghart's, what's that? That's the other shop. Sieghart's no, Outfitters? Pain. Oh, come on. Ignorance. You don't have to pretend you haven't been to his poor excuse for a store off of Bayou Plaza. All right, fine. But isn't healthy competition one of the cornerstones of owning a business? I understand that. But when you're dealing with a snake like Secret, normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon's security to keep his place safe. Okay... Ha how do you keep your place safe? By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Oh, is he being forced 
to pay for the protection. All right, but why does that make you dislike him? I mean, if he doesn't want to fight the thugs but pay someone else, isn't that... What kind of merchant meetings are you talking about? A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. Okay. For all you know, he doesn't have a choice. Maybe you should just mind your own business. Why? For all you know, he doesn't have a choice of what? Paying for the protection. I mean... He didn't exactly seem like the tough guy tight is what I'm getting at. Everyone has a choice. Some are simply more difficult than others. I get it, The only but... way to fight Neon security is if all the merchants unify and push back on these unreasonable rules. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Right, no, okay. Um... What's the story with you and Rosa? Is it... So, wait a minute, look, I think it's... Maybe I'm misunderstanding what's going on here. Is all of Neon security just corrupt? Are they basically a glorified gang? I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They okay. have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. Okay. I just... I guess I'm kind of surprised that feel like starting them in the program, you're surprised. I think that's just the impression I got about this place. So, okay. Um, Just out of curiosity, what's the story with you and Rosa? I arrived in Neon almost, uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend and started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbass Processing. And that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Zeno Fresh, get married, and start our own business. We've okay. been in love ever since. You know, you actually sounded happy for a brief second. I, I could go and talk to Sigurd, you know, and see if I could talk and some sense into him and join you if, if it would give you some power against the corrupt guards. Uh... Was it something I said? Maybe. So I, I can I can go and have a chat with him, seeing if he'll join your little uh, organization. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That'd be extremely helpful. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say. Um. Well, I'm not doing this for free. You don't. You don't have to say anything. I'm just a very nosy person that's also very helpful. Fair enough. Just yeah. be okay. careful when you're dealing with Sigurd. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. Are we talking about the same guy? Nervous, kind of hopeful and somehow, I don't know, pathetic all at the same time? Have you even tried speaking to him yourself? The first time I brought up the subject, we got into a huge argument. Sigurd said he had every intention of paying Neon security and that it was final. After okay. that, I tried to speak to him a few times, but he's always been too busy to spend the time to sit down and have a decent conversation. It's obvious he has no intentions of talking to me anymore. I honestly don't know what I did to make him so angry with me. Okay. Well, we'll definitely look into that. I've got some business I need to take care of first, though. Uh, but, yeah. Um, okay. Look, there is a reason I came here. You set up a meeting with Walter Stroud recently. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay. Let's say you did. Information yeah? isn't usually free. All right. Don't duck the questions. You already got paid for connecting the seller to Walter. We're not paying twice. We're not paying you twice. Yeah, it's us that paid you. It's us that paid you. I'm not threatening the man's shop. It is us that paid you, okay? I don't usually package pieces of intel, but maybe I could. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Okay. Sleep Crate 1. Let me write down the unit for you. Sleep Crate what? Okay, thank you. Sleep Crate. There are crates where people sleep. 
Right. Seagard's gone too far this time. Oh no, this again? James, you have to let it go. Let it go? Why should I? Every time he pays NSEC, he enables them, Rosa. He's telling them it's okay to blackmail us. It's ridiculous! It's the way things are, James. There's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> All right. I just wish things would change in the city. Okay. I feel like I'm getting myself drawn into... Well... The politics of this place. I know I shouldn't. I know I've got other things to do, but... That little urge to interfere is growing. Okay, so the cellar has a sleep crate somewhere. We need to find it and search it. Yeah. Once our business with Walter is concluded, I may spend a little time just exploring Neon. Experience what it has to offer. Yeah. I'm going to interfere is what I'm saying. I'm going to be interfering. Want to challenge your instincts and hone those corporate skills? Ryuji no. Hiring the best and no, I don't. Sighart. No, we'll, we will talk to Sighart another time, yeah? Let's get this other business sorted first. And... Okay, that was a that was a bit of a sales pitch, but it also sounded a little pompously annoying. Okay. Keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder. Yeah, right. Hysterical old broad. Yep, got the t-shirt on. Got the t-shirt on. Add that to the list of things to be doing once we're done with the other thing that we're doing. I think we've got to go to Ebside. I'm pretty... Speak with me only if you have what it takes to do tracker work. Hi. If you come to talk about bounty hunting, I can answer questions. If you want to pick up a bounty job, go to the local mission board. Be warned, though. If you think this work is for making a quick credit, you may not be cut out for it. Take skill, precision and a willingness to risk your life. One... Oh, no, a right, okay. Um, just, I just, honestly, you just are a bit out of place here, and I am an incredibly nosy person who also happens to have done a little bounty work. Out of curiosity, got any good bounty hunting stories? I do, but I do not share these stories, for it is not a job to be celebrated. Okay. I've seen them beg for their lives. Try to pay me not to bring them in. I'm not proud of all the lives I've taken. This life is kill or be killed. Each bounty represents a desperate person unwilling to face justice willingly. They do not play by the rules. Remember that. All right, I guess. I mean, thanks. <clears throat> that was very poetic and depressing at the same time. Wow. I think I prefer the other bounty hunter. Okay, Euphorica. Well, I did say... Exclusive members lounge. Yeah, maybe later. I'm, I'm currently... Conducting some business. Too bad okay. I can't any more from these fish. Right. Yeah, I guess. Elevator. I'm looking for sleep crates. Does anybody know where the sleep crates can be found? I feel like stuffing them in the program young is the best way for them to achieve their dreams. Sounds like a bad idea to me. 
Okay. Elevator. My scanner has stopped being useful. Why is the scanner no longer being useful? Okay. I mean... Chunks! No, it's, it is. It's telling me to go this way. It's telling me to go this way. I wish there was a city map. Why don't people have city maps? Oh. Okay. Do you think anyone's going to notice? Do you think anyone will notice if I just... I mean, I could be the... Right? No one's going to notice. It's not that difficult to lock anyway. I hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered. Okay, just you, you, you just keep keep a lookout for me, right? Keep a lookout for me. Galbank statement. Please be advised that the current pay cycle will once again leave you with near zero balance in your account. Okay, this person is desperate. Termination notice. Due to changing priorities within the organization, your role within Slayton Aerospace has been made redundant. Please clean out any personal items and inform anyone who needs to know about your imminent departure by the end of day. We thank you for a decade of service and trust that our long-standing relationship will keep this transition free of unpleasant incident. So this is someone who's been terminated by Slayton Aerospace. Could that be... Okay. Personal correspondence. To Musgrove, you might not be aware, but there's a certain item your employer has that others have taken an interest in. Now, I know you're gainfully employed, but what's the harm in a little chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, well, I would want to know if I were you. A friend. I'm not joking, friend. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. Your friend. To Musgrove. Per our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time before they come for you. So this is somebody who was working for... Oh, whatever it was called. What? That's my place. I don't think this day could get any better. Okay. I, uh, I, I've got what we need. Let's have a look. Slayton Aerospace. Yeah, so... Our seller is someone who used to work... For Slayton Aerospace, and... They found out that they were being terminated, and on the way out, decided, um... Well, not decided. I we're encouraged they'd let us fish for to take an item by someone. The question is, who was that someone? Do you think it... Yes. I'm, I'm talking to a recorded message. We'll sort that issue out later. Right now, I want to focus on this transaction. So, at least we now know why the person wants to sell this. We just don't know who convinced them to acquire it. I'm thinking Walter. Or, or his wife, but I don't think so. I think Walter. But if not Walter, that then brings up the horrible question of who, and are they not going to be a tad miffed I'm going the wrong way. Am I going the wrong way? I am actually going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Wait. Oh, yeah. Totally the wrong way. Okay. Everyone's in shock, I can tell. We should probably keep in mind that Slayton Aerospace are probably interested in reacquiring the artifact. So it could be a three-way standoff. Walter, 
a friend and a corporation. Assuming Walter isn't this friend. What? No, oh, sorry, I was speaking out loud. We're just we're just heading up to the Astral Lounge to check the place out for totally legitimate reasons. Yes, we are. I do not understand how anyone can tolerate the lights and the music for long. Really? I don't mind the light and music. I may have an issue with whatever that is. I'm, I just, just, okay. It's very bright and the scanner does not make it any less bright. Restroom. Hi. Okay. The bar. We should sit at the bar. Oh, totally. Absolutely. We are all about the high payload special. Hi. Do you have room for one more on your crew? I, we, 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 we might. Well, not right now, actually. What is your area of expertise? Payloads. I can optimize your ship's carrying capacity and allow you to carry more cargo. Yeah, I figured that. Okay, well, um, I'm... Out of curiosity, how much will it cost? Trust me, you'd be getting a bargain. Just... 6,000... I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, I'm sorry. Um, we'll just... Rain check, yeah? Rain check. I'm not saying no, I'm just saying not right now. We, we The ship is way too small. We've got... Lounge special. Hi. Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's yes. Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. Okay. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. I don't do camps. Definitely hits. Uh, wait, so I prefer, I prefer alcohol. Yeah, just prefer alcohol. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. Maybe Here, later. Take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and say you already have. Um, okay. I'd like some details on purchasing. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm thinking about purchasing a penthouse. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. Okay. That's a lot of money. <laughs> uh, tell me about the penthouse and what features it offers. Well, of course. The Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. Okay, well, I'm, um, I am interested, but just not right now, okay? How unfortunate. But I will be here should you change your mind. Mm, I may well do that. I may well do that. Um... Who created the music for this place? Pretty amazing, isn't it? It's That's Borealis, only 19 amazing. years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. Right, okay. I'm, I'm sort of new in town, and I've heard about this administrator Bayou. Anything you can tell me about him? Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Okay. Now, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. All right, excellent. And is there anything on the menu you recommend other than Aurora? That depends on if you're hungry or thirsty. Um, let's go with hungry. Ah, a bit of a foodie, are we? I can't totally. say I blame you. We're just as renowned for our cuisine here as we are for our drinks. 
First, let me tempt you with our melon caviar. Delicate, salty spheres of melon, hydroponically grown in our private aqua garden. And to finish, our lounge special strip. A grilled soy-based steak served with a steaming side of chipped potatoes. <laughs> it's delicious. Anything there sound appetizing? Or you looking for something else? sounded interesting. Oh, uh, that's all for now. Of course, of course. Okay, well... I've got a meeting later on. I'm a little bit worried about security. Could you set my mind at ease? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Uh... Okay. Where exactly would a secure meeting take place? Private meetings are usually held in the floor above. Just to use the elevators. Okay. And... Let's just say I needed security to be on my side if a fight broke out. I want to let them know hey, I'm one of the good guys. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. Okay. That, okay, that fee seems a little high. Can we... We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Okay. Uh... You lower the fee? I'll be sure to stop by the... Right, let's drop Walter's name. Surely a business like Stroud Eklund already has VIP status. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Perhaps something could be arranged. Yes, I do. Okay. When Walter is in I should have started with this. Walter Stroud is coming here personally. Surely that's enough to have security on hand. I'm sorry, but our policies demand even high-profile customers pay our fees. Okay, fair enough. Um, don't get me wrong. I know you aren't trying to... I know you're trying to do your best and do your job, but, you know, can you not help me out here a little? Look, I'd like to help, but... Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. It's probably... Well, okay, Walter gave me a thousand credits, operational costs. I'd love to be a VIP. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Awesome. Um, oh. Can we not... Can we not talk about more details? I was also wondering if I could lock people inside, which is probably not something I should wonder out loud. Oh, uh, no, that's fine. You've been very, very helpful. Thank you very enjoy much. We will be absolutely sure to enjoy the lounge. I will be sure to enjoy the lounge. And Reja will look on disapprovingly and make some sort of snarky comment. Okay, we've now got VIP status, but we still need to check out the door controls. And the barman is not going to help us anymore, so I guess we need to check that out ourselves. Rest... VIP elevator. Okay, he did say that it was going to be in the VIP lounge, the meeting, right? I'm guessing we can just go up there now. Okay. So where would the... Staff only? Right, the meeting place... Is this it? Is this where we would be having the meeting? Possibly? Let's just keep looking around. Hello. Her over at Kelcorp. She's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. And you thought you'd pass that on to me. Well, thank you, I guess. Astral Lounge. VIP booth. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm getting stuck. All right. Door controls. Possibly. Oh, 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 oh. Door locked. Oh, we can unlock that, but that would probably get us in some trouble. Did. Okay. 
Did they specify which of these booths we would be in? I'm not sure they did. Okay, we got a two. That's an in. That's the inside. That's the inside. So we definitely know. Okay, probably get that one in first there, and then remote door control. Adding a new user to remote door control override. Approve hand signal will allow use to lock door to VIP lounge a total of one time. Okay. So we can now lock the door one time. This room has been booked by Redacted. Please see Boone Morgan for scheduling conflicts. This is probably the room we're supposed to be. I never had the patience for computer systems. Yeah, I can understand that, but it's sort of useful, all things considered. Let's just have a quick booth for. Hello, uh, we are very nosy people. Oh, hi. Yes, what is it? Since you're a bio, does this mean you own the entire city? So you're in charge of Neon, yes? Not that it's any of your business, but yes. I'm the administrator of Neon. Okay. Actually, there are a lot of perks that come with the job. But do you want to know my favorite? One snap of my finger and people who ask too many questions get thrown off of the upper platform. <laughs> I love that one. Fine. Message received. Sort of. Since you're about, does that mean you own this entire city? I wouldn't normally bother with idle chatter, but that's such a ridiculous question. I'm going to gift you with a response. Oh, well, thank I you very much. I don't own Neon. Neon is the property of Xenofresh Fisheries, of which I just happen to be the CEO and the major majority stakeholder. Now, okay. if you'd care to take a moment to dissect that statement in your tiny little mind, I'm confident you'll discover the answer to your question. Oh, well, no, no, no. you've been very helpful. Thank you very Are much. We done? Good. We're totally done. You have been very helpful. You have helped me make up my mind. We are so helping the people of Neon to do whatever will annoy him. 